UFC lightweight division belt. All right, so here he is, really, for my money, has accomplished a submission specialist and Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner as has crossed into the UFC in years. We'll see how quickly tonight he can get this fight to the ground and utilize his high-level submission skills. Outstanding choke game. A lot of different chokes in his repertoire. We'll see if he can get him going tonight. This guy has an amazing ability to control fighters from the top position. Once he gets there, that is where the fight will remain. Born in Dagestan, Russia, here is the UFC lightweight contender, the undefeated Khabib Nurmagomedov. At one point, 24 and 0, dominant every step of the way in his mixed martial arts career, training at American Kickboxing Academy under the likes of Javier Mendez. This is a gym that has produced many a champion, Joe. All indications are that Khabib Nurmagomedov could be this. This guy has outstanding control on the ground amongst the best in the world and holding his opponent in the position that he would like to keep him in while utilizing his techniques. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting! This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, the professional. And now we're going to be the opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins. No, he's five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Here you go, first round, you ready? Are you ready? Let's well, go, always go. great to be back in the MMA hotbed that is Rio de Janeiro as we get underway here at the Jumes Arena in Brazil. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here. Wow, that was a quick takedown. Movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Caught him with a punch. It looks like he's trying to isolate that arm here. Look at this though. Oh! Oh, this is not good at all. That's it. That's it. Great job in getting this fight to the ground quickly and getting an early submission. 
Yeah, Joe, that was quick, but can't say that we're all that surprised when he said he didn't want to waste a lot of time. He wanted to be efficient, knew he wanted to get this fight to the ground and let his submission skills take over. Outstanding effort, even better technique here tonight. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 16 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an armbar. The professional. Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter share in the moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward.